Welcome to Weather Center Live on a Friday afternoon. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. You made it to Friday, the weekend just about here. And we've got your weekend forecast from coast to coast coming up in just six minutes. But well, we begin with active. Okay, who's got outdoor plans this weekend? No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I'm going to watch do. TV. I do. I'm going over to <laughs> <laughs> TV. That's what I do. You work on TV. You need to do something else during the weekend. I like to watch TV. <laughs> You know, our own Mike Seidel is in Woodstock, Georgia, to talk about this with regard to being outside. And the answer for me is right now. How hot is too hot? 53 minutes past the hour. That means it is time for your tropical update. Still, we've got the action in the eastern Pacific, but we do have an area to watch in the Atlantic, and we'll touch on that in just a moment. But first, Carlos right now with winds of 60 miles per hour moving stationary. Now, this isn't strengthening much. Our hurricane specialist, Michael Lowry, said those upper level winds are a little brisk, and that's keeping it from really developing and feeding off of that warm ocean surface water. So, you know, usually sitting over those very warm ocean waters will allow the these things to strengthen uh, fairly rapidly at times, but because of the brisk winds aloft, that is keeping it a little bit more disorganized. As we look at where we expect Carlos to go, notice that most of those spaghetti models do take it off to the north and west. Some keep it a little further offshore. Others take it back up towards Cabo San Lucas. So still remains to be seen. But in the meantime, they're going to see the impacts here along the coastline, even though it's not going to make direct impact per se with the coastline. So some rains will be likely several inches closer to some of those coastal locations by a Saturday midday 65 mile per hour winds. We expect this to be a hurricane by midday Monday, eventually working off towards the north and west. And you can see within that cone from the National Hurricane Center is Baja, California, including Cabo San Lucas. So we'll be watching for that. Some areas already under a tropical storm watch. Again, there is that threat for some breezy winds and especially some rainfall across this part of Mexico. As you can see from the enhanced satellite picture, some of that uh, outer uh, outer bands of Carlos making impact with land. So you're seeing the cloud cover. You've got the rain showers over on the Atlantic side of things off the Yucatan Peninsula. We've got an area to watch right here. The National Hurricane Center not holding out much hope for this one, only giving it a 10% chance of formation over the next five days. This moving off towards the north and west. So here would be that possible development area over the next five days after it works over the Yucatan Peninsula. We'll watch this area in the Gulf of Mexico. Dave.